got the pond running early last week actually cleaned it all out got it running for the season a little late looking pretty good anyways i uh just got finished paying thirty-five thousand dollar bill for artificial grass so that's just one job folks so that is just the cost of the grass and materials that isn't even with our labor that isn't with our prep work that was just to order the grass i mean it was about just about 35k uh, thirty-five thousand bucks so crazy 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 i think that's probably our biggest artificial grass purchase i think this stuff costs guys uh landscaping cost it really does of course this is kind of a big area that we're doing but either way with whatever we're doing you know it, it costs a lot of money it just the price of things lately you know has, has gone up as everybody has realized so now i've got to go replenish my bank account because <laughs> we've got payroll tomorrow and we've got bills always insurances going out and everything so we'll be fine though i mean i'm not i'm not worried about it but still it's a big hit you know so onward we're gonna go check on these guys they're working on a pretty big project right now a really cool project uh so we're gonna go check that one out, see how they're doing on that one, and then I've got to go uh, get to some estimates, so. been on the road so much lately these days it's been crazy we've been super busy but check this out this truck is finally getting some work in her let's say the past week i'm in roswell i just barely got into roswell just now me and richie and fred finished a job way out in carl's bad which is an hour and a half away well i just helped for like a couple hours <laughs> they're the ones that knocked it out pretty good but but i helped them the last bit so i could bring the tractor back but yeah last monday i took it over there and then from there went to El Paso and Las Cruces. Got a whole bunch of Trex boards for a deck we're building, which is a really cool job. Brought it back from Cruces all the way here. So this truck's been getting loads pulled in. So I'm not saying I should be pulling this, you know, all the time, but we do anyways, most of our, most of our days. I mean, uh, I think most of our fleet is all uh, half ton trucks, you know, uh, we have some one ton, like our yard route trucks and whatnot are all half tons. So we're always pulling with them so and those are gas so this one's diesel so you know they'll do it you know i will admit you know we do go through transmissions you know we're only able to get like three years out of my truck before i like so i'm gonna have this for three years most likely i'm gonna put a buttload of miles which i've only had it for like six months and i've already put oh gosh how many miles do I, have? I got it yeah i've already put almost twenty-five thousand miles in six months on it so i'm able to put a lot of miles on it by that time i turn it over to the guys and it's put into the fleet i guess and from there well <laughs> they pretty much go to the junkyard so now we do i do sell them but usually because the transmission goes out or mostly transmissions we haven't had much for engine problems only one in the past but usually you know i think the last five or six of our vehicles that we've gotten rid of it was because of transmission problems you know they would not go into reverse or one of the gears or whatnot so it's understandable because i mean we're pulling with half ton vehicles are pulling this kind of stuff so but we get our money's worth out of them. You know, they're all tools, and especially this truck too. I mean, uh, keep them clean. Of course, you want to keep your, your tools clean, but uh, at the end of the day, if it's not making money, then why do we have it? 
so. so i'm gonna get inside get to work actually i've got to unload this trailer to get to work yeah and get some uh, emails taken care of Take a look at that. Watch, look. See that rope? That's how your life could be. Your life could go in whatever direction you want it to go. You know, we're in control of that. I mean, we might have some problems, and you know, things might come up that we can't control. But ultimately, the direction that you would like to go, you can navigate that. It's like, if you don't have direction, then it's like, you using Google Maps and you have no no destination where you're going. How how do you plan to get there? What do you plan to do? Like you have to have a, a plan of direction. You saw we just went from how many how many towns that we just traveled through today? Two. It's awesome. Life is what you make of it. You know, it is a lot of times people are are stuck. You know, in depression, addiction, whatever it is. But if you could overcome that, man, like, life could be beautiful. Life could be everything that you want it to be. And I would hope, I would hope at the end of your life, you got to live out your dream. Because the only one stopping you is you. That's some real talk there for George. <laughs>